And let's love again. Love, yay. Peace. Hi, I'm Kamal, a.k.a. Minister Kamal. And I want to tell the COVID patients who have some kind of damage to your lungs what I feel is one of the best things that you can do to restore your lungs as much as possible. Now, my disclaimer is that I'm a lay person. I'm not a doctor or medical person, but I went through an experience where I was in isolation for over a month. And in that month, I had to make sure I got out of bed and I had to make sure that I did my breathing exercises. And many might think that medicine is the cure, but actually there is one thing that they say is better than medicine. Someone's opinion, a nurse told me, this is better than medicine when it comes to restoring your lungs with COVID and to help you get out of the hospital quicker. And um, I'm gonna read their technical name for it. It's a volumetric incentive spirometer, a spirometer. Volumetric incentive spirometer. And online they have them for different prices from like $5 to $25. And it looks just like this. So what you do, you can blow on it and look at different levels that you get to, or you can try to keep the ball right here between this and this. Anything you're doing, you are using your lung capacity to the fullest and you actually kind of feel your your lungs expanding. They say when your lungs get damaged, I heard and was told by someone that you're, they start turning into little rocks, certain parts of it. So you want to make sure you can rebuild. Maybe, I'm not sure if your whole thing, but you can rebuild a lot of songs, lungs. You can listen to me, lungs and songs. You can rebuild a lot of cells and your your lungs will start to expand all through breathing. So she said this in the field, the opinion is it's better than medicine. And I was given this and I was told every day to even sleep with it by one doctor. Sleep with it. Some say when you're watching TV, when the commercial comes on, then you um take some breathing, you, take, you, you play with it, you exercise. And some said that most said that once an hour, you do 10 breathing or you could do like 15 minutes every 15 minutes we do three but i'd rather just do 10 every hour so you know you would that's the first way i learned and the second is to try to keep the ball in between these two lines here so i gotta see it it's harder actually, but you can feel it in your chest. Oh God, Lord, let me miss it. All right, but this is it, y'all. You know, some people might tell you, but now you know. All right, thank you. Enjoy. Come on. This life goes real fast in a nanosecond. And a flash. You know that dash between your birth and when you pass. So let's make some nice memories and make the good times last. Hi, my name is Kamal, aka Minister Kamal, because after all I went through, I really got close to God in a tight situation. I've been in the hospital for over a month. I was in isolation due to COVID-19 that floored me. It came out of nowhere. Um, I'm an assistant gym teacher and I was daily with the children, lifting weights, running, uh, walking, playing volleyball and kickball and things like that, going to Planet Fitness and things like that. And one night I'm standing up in my kitchen helping my son with his homework and I did like the Harlem Shake and my wife was like are you falling down sleeping and standing up and I said no 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 what are you talking about bang like a log I fell flat on my face and gave myself a black eye and um, that's to make a long story short so they rushed me to the hospital and um, 
from that point on, basically the goal, you may think that you need a lot of medicine. I gotta hurry up, this thing's beeping. This, this, this thing, man, ooh, this thing's very crazy. Um, um, you might think that there's a certain medicine that's really good for COVID, but after it damages some of your lungs, and you might think there's certain food or a certain herb, but the main thing is your some of your um, lungs shrink. They start shrinking due to the fluid, and I don't really know all of that, but I know that something with COVID starts eating away at your lungs, and so what you have to do is, well, first of all, you see some of my lungs turn to like little rocks. And um, when I do my breathing exercises, then like one of them is pot belly yoga, which is very simple. I knew that before I got here. You let your stomach out and on the inhale. And when you can get all the way to the top, you start exhaling. And then before you finish, to all, to all totally finish exhaling, you, then you push your belly out again, or your belly out again, and you inhale. So it's like, right? That's pot belly yoga. You can look it up so you know you get a better illustration. Because I'm not any doctor or anything like that. I'm just a wonderful person who something happened to. But what, what I'm saying is, that hit me in a nanosecond. I was unvaxxed. And so I had nothing to block. I think before the other variants came out, I was probably walking right through COVID because a doctor told me that athletes and athletic people, they usually dodge the COVID bullet. But why did they put themselves through going all that they went through when they didn't have to? All they had to do was take a vaccine. I was, I was anti-vaccine. I told everybody in my job and everywhere, I'll be the last to take it. But now I am negative, I have antibodies, and in three months I can take a vaccine and I'm going to take it because I had nobody blocking for me when things got to another capacity. And I, I say it like this, like I have a homeopathic cousin, um, nurse, and she told me one time when back in the day when I used to get the flu or get a cold, you know, you drink your orange juice, your soup, your tea, you know, and stuff like that. And you take your vitamins and your medicine. But, you know, she told me to take raw garlic. So I would take raw garlic, cut it up into little pieces so it's easy for me to throw up in my mouth. And um, that sometimes would knock, the first two times it knocked the flu out. And sometimes we used to take cayenne pepper. So those kind of combinations would usually knock it out. But what happens when you use that or herbal remedies and it doesn't work and you don't want to use Western medicine? You have to go to the doctor and get an antibiotic. So you have to use the urban medicine. So what happened the third time after I did all the herbal remedies, my throat was still sore for a couple of days. And so I said, the herbal stuff ain't working. It's not, I don't know why it's not working. So that's when I had to choose to go and get the antibiotic from the doctor and then it goes right away. So I say that as a comparison to the vaccine. It's like maybe before whatever you were eating or drinking or, or medicine you were taking and your immune system was strong enough to fight the regular first COVID. But now with these new strains out here and it's unpredictable, that something just comes and hits you and, and you're gone. And I've seen people with the eyeballs and, and I've seen people that um, can't talk and people fighting people um, that's trying to help them. I, I've seen I've seen so much and um, I'm not even giving y'all Adam's way to what I've seen. Um, so basically you need something to block for you. Shine bright, spread love. Love, yeah. Shine bright, spread love. Love, yeah. You know, it's so easy to be petty. It's so easy to hold a grudge. And so hard to forget it. To just let it go. I mean, I'm not telling you to be a sucker or anything, but I will tell you that 
this journey that we're on, this life goes real fast, in a nanosecond, in a flash, you know that dash between your birth and when you pass, so let's make some nice memories and make the good times last. Cause we're all like pieces of sand in an hourglass. I know the people that you love can get on your nerves, but control your actions and watch your words. Cause this is a time to heal, not a time to hurt. Trust me. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know it's easy to want to smack the hell out of somebody curse them out and get real ugly but at the end of the day it's all about love and peace it's all about giving thanks to the one above it's all about forgiveness unity gratitude and love it really is Shine bright, spread love. so let's let that old stuff go Let's love again. Love, yay. Yeah. Peace. Kamal Amani, a.k.a. Kamal Supreme. Bless the mic ciphers. This style is revolutionary art. Let's go. Shine bright, spread love. Love, yay. Yeah. Shine bright, spread love, love, Love.